America exports now. But people I'm saying see that. people get bags they know overseas. Who she is. Like people get bags overseas quietly. She's a like Shakira's a global icon. I'm not saying she's Way not. Way before J Lo, I'm even not saying she's not. Did the Grammys? I'm not saying she's not. Like Shakira's been with the shits. Like she's take Keith outside of this country, and J Lo is them niggas. Excuse my language. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I, another podcast better suited. Like Ladies Night is probably better suited to handle this discussion. Uh, ladies Night or Never Night Extra, but I'm just saying I think Shakira is bigger than J Lo. Just like I don't, I, I think you're her literally music the is only bigger than J Lo's acting. That. Like yeah, J Lo's acting. I think you're literally the only person who thinks that. I think Shakira is a bigger hero. You got Shakira fucked up in her. Culture I think you're Columbia. culture vulturing right now. No, I always like Shakira over J Lo because J Lo can't either, sing, bro. Like Shakira actually has talent. And again, bro, J Lo doesn't lot. have talent. I'm got, talking ability lot, to bro. sing. Ability to sing. J Lo cannot sing. Well, I, I think she had people writing for I her she when she was sing. in hip hop. Okay, bro. I think she could sing. Oh, I, I, I'm well, not. No, I'm, I'm talking to a psychopath. Hold on, I think I, I get what everybody has. It, somebody write for them, bro. Not everyone. Yeah. Beyonce has people write for her. Nobody says that's, anything about that's that. Di- uh, don't. Oh, oh, that's I can't different. help you from the that's behind. That's different dog. because she has like 30, 30 producers no, on her shit. Okay, guess what? Her writes her own shit. You know who her is. Yes, I know Supreme her. Talented. Have you seen her? Yes, and she was on all, all that. Right. I've seen her twice. Actually, I've never seen her. All but, right, all right. oh, I'm, culture I'm vulture. Heard. No, I listen to all Damn, her music. Bro. Though. I just haven't gotten to a concert. I was the culture vulture of the show. No, first off, I've listened to all her music. Third, fourth, you heard thing, you know was four years ago. Yeah. Were you, you referencing she... a movie you haven't yeah. seen last week? Like, <laughs> 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 you were like, oh, <laughs> you? You were like, oh, it's in the culture. My mic off. Name the movie. No, Name the movie. Name the movie. Kenny's just yelling at you. No, that's the thing. I don't even think you mentioned the movie because you're like, oh, I haven't seen it. <laughs> it was probably a shitty movie. <laughs> I only talk shit about movies that I'm, I haven't seen that I know but I'm not going to see. But you were referencing it. I know, what you, I know what he's talking about. I don't remember, but I probably said it because I, I know I do shit like that. But I'm telling you, you really got Shakira... Like all the way fucked up If you think Oh because she's not like A superstar in America And J-Lo is That J-Lo's the biggest star globally No it doesn't work like that sir Does not work like Here's that a, And I think what you were Trying to say earlier Was whether or not Colombia and, was bigger than Puerto Rico Is that what you were trying to say Colombia's a bigger Historical Right Yeah like Puerto Rico And There's always Obviously I mean Fat Joe came out and said It's also the Puerto- top down Of like where they are Geographically That it's like hey you know, Puerto Ricans are black. There, FYI, actually. it's kind of well. The popularity, if it's in like somewhere in the southern United States, if Shakira was Cuban. I would up. agree with you because Cuba, like American, don't fuck yeah, with Cuba no, anyway. Cuba and Mexico are still kind of in that yeah. zone where it moves upward. So, like, if Shakira but was like was bo- Cuban, once and you get below the equator, it's basically like all of that just goes across South America. Yep, spreads the hell out. I mean, and like she's a light skinned Colombian, so like. Clearly, I'm not saying this because I just think she's more attractive. At least well, naturally. Well, I'm also, but not J Lo I'm, I'm also kidding. helping your point because honestly, bro, my, my, my I, I really, I like really, focus on my income. I really don't college. think, I really don't think you could honestly, I just legit argue, argue that Shakira is a bigger star. Nah, man. Overall, I really don't think she. Then J Lo, bro. I really don't name think five J Lo movies. Uh oh. Made in Manhattan. Mm-hmm. Trash. Um Hustlers. Uh Enough. That count. Enough. I knew you were gonna mention enough. Um, that was good for like two weeks. Hustlers. Um that one with Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Doesn't count. Um, Geely was terrible. It was like the oh, worst oh, movie. Geely. Yeah, Geely. That was actually a terrible movie though. Um I, I haven't heard one good movie yet. Selena? I didn't say Selena. That doesn't count. It's a biopic, bro. We know how it ended. <laughs> we know how say- Selena ended. Anybody know how Selena ended? Let's see. And there was you know the backlash well. she got for being a Puerto Rican playing a Mexican. Do y'all want to have that conversation? Oh y'all, no, I've had that conversation. Everybody, lot, his family divided about that, bro. Like, come on. So again, controversy. Joe Budden was right. Controversy around JLo's whole career. She's like arguably an industry plant. Been walked through the gate. Somebody led her into hip hop, and and she really, honestly, eh. J Lo's eh when it comes to hip hop. Anaconda, out of sight. Bro, I don't even remember Monster her being Mom, Anaconda. And I saw yeah, Anaconda Monster with Ice <laughs> What'd you say? Shall we dance? American Idol. That's TV. I didn't hear not one 
Oscar worthy performance or even one great okay has Shakira had an Oscar winning you know performance you, she's probably been in Columbia movies hell? you don't fucking know I'm saying you don't even know Shakira's catalog I'm just telling you from the fact that she's blown up overseas and like bro you cannot compare a global icon like Shakira to I say it's continental uh, drift you know how many times platinum J-Lo's been <laughs> J-Lo's been like okay. multiple times platinum. you're talking about industry I'm talking about the people like, oh my god! Way more bro. people are behind a Shakira than J Lo, and you're really on Wikipedia looking up sh- fucking Shakira and J Lo facts. That's how I know you're trash. Like, bro, it's like, come on, don't, don't, don't get me started on this. Shakira is a bigger icon musically and in her country than J Lo is to Puerto Rico. That's not what we're talking about. You're talking about global I'm stars, every ar- and you keep every talking area about these you want to argue. Shakira's Bro, better than J-Lo You're talking about J-Lo being bigger In the entertainment capital of the world The United States How hard is that to comprehend You keep talking the about Puerto Rico And you're not talking about the whole the bigger United than Los Angeles. States the Where world's she's been on top of Billboard the How many the world, times The rest of the world and I'm Shakira not even has J-Lo too. like the I'm not even a J-Lo <laughs> like, bro, I'm not saying she's Shakira has two, has two number one songs Can you name them? Let's see. Can you name the two Shakira songs? I don't songs? need to. So why the fuck are you writing out for Shakira? Because like, even just, I could have told she's you. She's been around longer than Jay. she's damn near been around wolf. longer. Did you Forever. Me, did you say she wolf? Yeah, that was my slapper. I used to knock that. All I'm telling you is Alejandro. Like I just know Shakira is a bigger star from what I've seen and how long she's what was been that around. One? Um, like I'm telling look, you, I'm not the biggest what Shakira was that fan. Spanish song, the one where she's like naked. They're like So most of it Fuck She know. almost won a VMA for that You talking about J-Lo or Shakira? Shakira You talking about Hips Don't Lie? Not to be honest. Nah, I didn't even think I forgot about that one Yeah, You really I was like Hips Don't Lie Is like one of her biggest Nah ones. that's the Culture Vulture one no, that That's was the American one point. Okay And all J-Lo shit is, is Culture point. Vulture All her shit is Culture Vulture She was in hip hop Okay Culture Vulture Shakira has three Grammys I don't think I don't think J-Lo has a Grammy and if she does, it's probably from some shit connected to Love Don't Cost a Thing or some shit that Puffy produced. She was named one of the hundred most influential people in the world. Shakira was, too. I don't think she was. She probably was. She nah, was. it wasn't. Shakira, that when she was at her hottest, bro, you got Shakira fucked up. Yeah, I don't think J-Lo ever won a Grammy. But she definitely has more. Has she won a Latin Grammy? I'm pretty sure Shakira's won more Latin Grammys, too. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Shakira definitely got her there. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, that's what I'm asking you. They're both going to be on stage, and J-Lo's the headliner, but we know who's really better. Shakira. Mm. That's all I'm saying for the Super Bowl halftime show. If we're breaking this down, I'm taking Shakira. I'll put it to you like this. In four rounds. I'll put it to you like this. No, J-Lo can't go 15 rounds with Shakira. I'll put it to you like this. J-Lo, her Wikipedia page says her net worth. Who gives a f- five hundred million? And she's owned parts of professional teams. Okay. No, my wait, wait, one percent. Hold hold Let me finish. So Serena Williams. Let me finish. Let me finish. Are you going to provide context in your point? Yeah, this is my context. Shakira's net worth is not on her Wikipedia page. You know what it she is. Got that you know what's on her page? Drug money. You know the what's connect. on her page? It, you don't need to know which money Years she got. Active. Guess what? Guess and what? you don't even call her a legacy act. You literally call her a legacy act. Because at this act. point, like, she's been around That's for so long. That's fun. No, because Beyonce's a legacy act, you could say. Uh, no matter where Beyonce goes, nah, she, had she has a legendary following, bro. No, like... A legacy act is someone who doesn't have new music, so they perform their own music. No, it doesn't, no legacy act means That's it doesn't matter act. if they have new music or not. You're going to hear them. You're going to see them. If the nah, Wu-Tang Clan is in concert, I'm going. I don't give a shit. And I don't even want to hear the new Wu Tang album. All right, man. So on that note, J Lo, Mancini. Mm-hmm. Do I don't watch the debate, man. So tell me what's up. I just want to know. We're going on a tangent. It was. We got time, don't worry. It was brutal. It's uh, so weak for sports, anyway. There was a. Which I'm going to my first Yang Gang rally on Monday. Shout I'm out to Yang Gang. I'm being forced to go by the two of them via I'm not proxy. even forcing you to go. All how do you, I said was, do you, know do you want to go? I didn't even you, announce that he yet. He brought it up like four times in the group chat. I said, brought it up here twice. Going. 
I feel pressure to go. Nobody's pressing, bro. Don't go. I don't want I, you to go. See, here's okay, the thing. now I'm, pressuring now I'm not, not welcome. Go. Now I'm not welcome at a Yang rally. See? Cool. See, see what he now does. Now he's gonna break a story on me. I'm just fascinated to see it because you just four want to years see a, ago, a car crash. Well, four years ago, I went to uh, Bernie's rally in L.A. And did you go to and, one like a month ago? Mm-mm. Oh, no. I you he just snitched <laughs> again. No, I thought you went to one. I thought you went to one. It was. But Sanders related event, but it uh, wasn't Sanders or Jason. Jason. Sanders or Jason. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Burn so. bro, Jason. <laughs> Burn bro, is that that thing you get after you? Never mind. I I don't even know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that actually goes great together. But no, yeah, but man, finish. I, I think. Pause. It's up to you if you still want to see the debate and see some of the. Is it worth re- going back and replaying? Stop touching the like goddamn button, Pete. I'm trying to turn it off, but it just keeps it going. You keep touching oh, yeah. it. <laughs> How about you just watch this? Okay, now, now you shit. That, that, that button's really messed now up. Now you did that. Because it's supposed to stop it when you hit it. That now great. Now we're on a permanent loop. Thank you. <laughs> 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 No, Fantastic. look, if if you want to go back and see it and hear, uh, you know, for example, Joe Biden's little uh, go to sleep with your record players on and your and the radio on, like, yeah. little moments I want to like see that. Corinne Bailey Ray? But I'm saying, like, I, I've got that shit through, like, proxy, like, through social media. So it's right. like, I got all the little moments. It's like, is well, it worth it to go back? Like, is there, did I actually miss any, like... Like debate or was it just like mudslinging? No, know? there's there's a good the kind same of same shit that they always bring up. It's long story short, it was really something that was underwhelming compared to what we had already seen. And is it because the stage was smaller? No, it, it was because of the hype and this idea of oh, we're finally seeing these the people the and these goes. people debate with each other. Like oh, everyone's talking about Biden and Warren. By the way, Cory Booker's almost out of the race because he can't raise enough money for his election. Yep. He's a fake black dude, but whatever. Um, Kamala Harris too. I think no, Yang, she's, Yang she's, is there too. I think he's like she's struggling, the, but she's not. Too. She's not ready to say she's out yet. Cory Booker's in an even worse condition. Marion Williamson's going to the ADOS conference in Kentucky. So and uh, and that is. Remind me, ADOS. American descendants of slavery. Pretty okay. much the distinction that black people who are born here. Uh, well, she's, she's she here. was she's the first saying, one on reparations. Yeah, yeah. She's saying we, we sh- they should get reparations in the trillions of dollars. Yeah, she and was the first person to say that. And Antonio Moore, who is a lawyer out here in Los, in Los Angeles, went to UCLA, and you've got Carnell. They like he he met with the Sandy Darity, like the leading financial economist in the country, mm-hmm. and taught and broke down like. Um, you know, African Americans literally have like, like white people have like ninety eight percent of the wealth, and like ninety two percent of the wealth, um, ninety percent of ninety five percent of the land or something that high. Black people as a collective group own about three point two percent, I think, and but, most of that is in baby boomers and baby boomers' hands, and then the rest is just all rich people and everyone else. So, like he's saying, pretty much he laid down the mm-hmm. the discussion and argument for ADOS and reparations, and she's going to be at that conference, right? Which is kind of more than Kamala Harris is doing because we know how many black people she locked up. But <laughs> but, what I, think, but what I was saying was yeah. like it's going to come down to McCain, Warren, McCain, Yang, not McCain, fucking Biden. They're the same old white dudes. They're Old white dudes who were really yeah, Republican. really different. Biden, are you sure about that? He did the 94 crime bill. And do you, wanna, do you want me to go into Biden's history right now? No, I know Biden's history. How bad history. it is? Tell you, the 94 I, crime bill? I got to no, tell you. I think, the Clintons. I think there's somebody Nobody's up different. on the stage that's different. Yeah, so there's Bernie, who's the layover. Who How long have you been saving that cap- impersonation? Yeah, that was really good. I, I, got, I got a whole... You do it when you go to sleep. A bunch of them. Like, you be going to comedy clubs on the weekend just throwing out Bernie Sanders. Like, I, I'll see you. I, I went... Uh, shout, out your, shout out your handles, man. I went shout a out. couple times to the movie theaters with friends, and every time we walked by the Terminator poster and the trailer for the new movie, I'd always have to lean over and do my Arnold just to be like... <laughs> I, I, I hope that like that's the last Terminator movie ever. Oh, come yeah, on, I'm Kim. Tired. You, you know you want to go. You know you want to see the movie. I want to see. Come it, on. I didn't see Genesis. Let's, let's go Genesis. see Dark Fate. It doesn't doesn't matter. You don't need Genesis anymore. 
<laughs> God damn it. God damn it, man. So, no, wait, so you were saying it's going to be Biden, it's going to be who and who? I said it was going to come down to three people, a mystery minority and Biden and Warren. Because the Democrats want a white woman or a white man, and they don't want Bernie. But right. I don't think Bernie... 